Can you recall the four different blood types of humans? They are type A, type B, type AB, type O. Do you already know your blood type? Why is blood type O considered as a universal blood type? The inheritance of some characters does not strictly follow Mendel's law of independent assortment. There are many traits that are inherited together more frequently. For example, the expression of certain traits depends on whether one is male or female. Apparently, the expression of the traits is determined by or related to one's sex. How many sons and daughters would you like to have in the future? Do you think you can really determine how many sons and daughters you will be having? Welcome again to another episode on our topic under heredity, sex chromosomes, and sex determination. At the end, we will learn how sex is inherited and determined. Humans have 46 chromosomes in each cell. Observation of the human body cell shows 23 pairs of chromosomes for both males and females. 22 pairs are somatic chromosomes. The 23rd pair consists of sex chromosomes. A sex chromosome is a type of chromosome that participates in sex determination. Humans and most other mammals have two sex chromosomes, the X and the Y. Females have two X chromosomes in their cells, while males have an X and a Y chromosome in their cells. Egg cells all contain an X chromosome, while sperm cells contain an X or a Y chromosome. This arrangement means that it is the male that determines the sex of the offspring when fertilization occurs. Now that we learned that it is the male that determines the sex of the offspring, let us know more about sex determination in the following video. Nora had been to see her aunt who was expecting a baby. She was curious to know whether it would be a baby boy or a baby girl. But how can this be found? How is the sex of a child determined? The genotypic method. In this type, the sex of a child is determined by the sex chromosomes. We know what sex chromosomes are. In humans, for example, the last pair is the sex chromosomes while the first 22 pairs are called autosomes. Similarly, in many other organisms, the sex chromosomes help to decide the sex of an individual. Let's take an example of mammals. In most of them, including humans, the sex of a child is determined by the sex chromosomes, namely X and Y. We know that in humans, individuals with both X chromosomes are females, while those with one X and one Y are males. How is sex determined and inherited? Let us study gamete formation based on the sex chromosomes. You will observe in figure 3 that all egg cells receive an X chromosome, while half of the sperm cells receive X chromosomes and the other half receive Y chromosomes. If an egg is fertilized by a sperm with a Y chromosome, as shown in figure 4, the offspring is male. When an egg is fertilized by a sperm carrying X chromosome, the offspring is female. Note that there is a 50% chance of having a male or female offspring. The greater the number of offspring, the greater is the chance of getting the expected 1 is to 1 ratio of male and female. To test your understanding of the concept, we will try to answer today's activity entitled, Boy or Girl? 
at the end of the activity, we will be able to discuss how sex in humans is determined. To do this, we will draw upon a square which shows the inheritance of the sex chromosomes. We will represent the female sex chromosomes with XX and the male sex chromosomes with XY. This is how we draw a Punnett square. It looks like a window with four panes. On the left side, we will write the female sex chromosome XX. At the top, we will write the male sex chromosome XY. What we are going to do is to pair each chromosome together. We will copy the left chromosome first, then we bring down the chromosome on top. We will repeat the procedure until we complete all the boxes. Copy the left chromosome first, then bring down the chromosome on top. Same goes with the last box. After finishing the Punnett square, we will now interpret the results. The first genotype that we produced from the Punnett square is XX. It stands for a female offspring and we have two, so we will write two female offspring. The next genotype that we have is XY. It stands for a male offspring and we again have two, so we will write two male offspring. Next, we will indicate our genotypic ratio. We have two of each genotype, so we will write here two is to two. Same goes with our phenotypic ratio. We have two is to two. Interpreting the percentage of male and female, we have 50% chance of having a female offspring and also a 50% chance of having a male offspring. Guide questions. I suggest you try answering these questions by yourself, then later on, we will check if your answers are correct. Are you ready? Here we go. What will be the sex of a child produced when an egg is fertilized by a sperm that has a Y chromosome? What type of sperm must fertilize an egg to result in a female child? Based on the Punnett square, what percent of children would you expect to be male? Which sex chromosome is present in both male and female? Infer which sex chromosome determines a person's sex. Discuss how sex is determined in humans. Let us see if you have answered correctly. What will be the sex of a child produced when an egg is fertilized by a sperm that has a Y chromosome? There are two types of sperm, sperm X and sperm Y. When an egg is fertilized by a sperm that has a Y chromosome, the sex of a child produced will be male. What type of sperm must fertilize an egg to result in a female child? The type of sperm that must fertilize an egg to result in a female child is sperm X. 
based on the Punnett square, what percent of children would you expect to be male? Based on the Punnett square, the percentage of children that we can expect to be male is 50%. Which sex chromosome is present in both male and female? The sex chromosome present in both male and female is chromosome X. It is present in both XX and XY. Infer which sex chromosome determines a person's sex. The sex chromosome that determines a person's sex is chromosome Y. When it is present in the genotype of the offspring, the child is a boy. Without it, the child is a girl. Chromosome Y determines a person's sex. Discuss how sex is determined in humans. Sex is determined in humans by means of the sex chromosomes XX and XY. If an egg... X is fertilized by a sperm with a Y chromosome, the child produced will be male, XY. If an egg, X, is fertilized by a sperm with an X chromosome, the child produced will be female, XX. What happens when there is no X chromosome at all present in a child? There are possible genetic abnormalities like this, especially during production of sperm in the father. There are supposed to only be two types of sperms, sperm X and sperm Y. But sometimes during meiosis division, a sperm is produced without a chromosome or a sperm with both X and Y chromosomes. Most of the time, Sperms like these do not reach the egg in the fallopian tube, but when they do, the sperm without the chromosome produces a female child with Turner syndrome, and the sperm with both X and Y chromosomes produces a male child with Kleinfelter syndrome. You may research more about these syndromes for additional information, but most fetuses with these conditions are often miscarried because their growth inside the mother's womb is not normal. Now let's have a short quiz to determine how much you have learned from our lesson today. Are you ready? What will be the sex of a child produced when an egg is fertilized by a sperm that carries an X chromosome? A. Male B. Female C. Neither male nor female D. Both male and female Which of the following is the sex chromosome for male? A. X B. XX C. XY D. None of these Based on the Punnett square, what percent of children is expected to be female? A. 25% B. 50% C. 75% D. 100% Which sex chromosome determines a person's sex? A. Chromosome X, X B. Somatic chromosome C. Chromosome X D. Chromosome Y How is sex determined in humans? A. By the ratio of the autosomes to the sex chromosomes. B. By the presence of the ZW chromosomes. C. By the temperature in which the individual is conceived. When conceived in high temperature, the individual is female. When conceived in low temperature, the individual is male. D. By the sex chromosomes. Individuals with both X chromosomes are females, while those with one X and one Y are males. 
Now we will see if you answered the questions correctly. For question number one, what will be the sex of a child produced when an egg is fertilized by a sperm that carries an X chromosome? The correct answer is letter B, female. For question number two, which of the following is the sex chromosome for male? The correct answer is letter C, XY. For question number three, based on the Punnett square, what percent of children is expected to be female? The correct answer is letter B, 50%. For question number four, which sex chromosome determines a person's sex? The correct answer is letter D, chromosome Y. For question number five, how is sex determined in humans? The correct answer is letter D, by the sex chromosomes. Individuals with both X chromosomes are females, while those with one X and one Y are males. How was it? Were you able to answer the questions correctly? For our next topic, try to research on the answers to the following questions to prepare you for our lesson on genes. Number 1. What material are genes made of? Number 2. How do genes work? Number 3. How does the genetic material produce the characteristics of an organism? That will be all for now. Thank you very much and stay tuned for more upcoming lessons. Be safe, stay safe, and let's continue learning. Bye!